And I believe that then it's actually very difficult for Abraham because when you are, when, if somebody put himself in that shoe in a situation at that age, at that time, it's actually a very difficult scenario. But when Abraham started to see as God sees her, when Abraham started to speak those things as they were, those things that were not as they were, you know, when Abraham started to see himself, you know, he started to walk and see himself as the father of nations. Uh, he started to see himself uh, in a new light, in a new dimension. Uh, he started to see himself in a glorious light. Uh, he started to see himself as a blessed of the Lord. Uh, and that's the same thing God wants you to know. And God wants you to understand today that if you have this faith, if you receive this faith by grace, uh, God wants you to start to do things in a different way, to start to see yourself in a different way, to start to see answer to your problem, to start to see answer for your, to your predicament, uh, to start to see God delivering you, God healing you, God answering your prayer, God giving you that your wife or that your husband that you're waiting for, God being the source of your joy, God providing for you, God leading you to a greater height, God leading you to a greater dimension, uh, and be the father of all to you. God answering your prayer. Be your guide in the night, your guide in the day. God be in your, around you when you call upon him. Answering your prayer when you call upon him. Be about your side when you call upon him. If you see God, if you receive this faith today, and things will start to happen. The Bible says that he called things that were not as do they were. You know, when when, when medical science or when, 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 when the doctor or when some illness say otherwise, you want to see what God is saying. Because God say, you shall not die, but you shall live uh, to proclaim the goodness of the Lord. Who against all believe in hope? Who against all odds believe that God is able to save him? That even though it's a minute that's left, he knows his God is able. Even though there's a second that's led, he knows our God is able to save unto the uttermost those that believe and trust in him. Verse 19, I read from the book of Romans. And be not weak in faith, he considered not his own body, now death, dead, when he was about an hundred years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. This is this, a scenario where the Bible says that even Abraham, be not weak in faith, he considered not his own body. Now there, I mean, for someone to be at that stage that he knows that Sarah, her womb is actually, is actually not, is, is actually not in the situation, in the position that a medical science will say somebody could bear a child. And Abraham, his is, 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 is biological situation is not in a position that medical science would say someone could actually um, father a child or bear a child. But the Bible says, and that being not weak in faith, he trusts God. Because how does that happen? How can somebody trust God in this kind of predicament and this kind of situation? One of the ways is to do what God said, to start to speak those things that were not as seen they were, to start to speak the word of God, to start to speak the mind of God, to start to agree with God as God said. The Bible says that can two work together except they agree. Two people can only work together if, only if they agree. The agreement is important. So the agreement of Jesus Christ with you. Jesus agreeing with you and you agree with Jesus is very important. Jesus agreeing with you and you agree with Jesus is very important. Jesus agreeing with you and you agree with Jesus is very important. And that's why you need to start to speak those, that, those things that were not as seen they were. That's why you need to start to speak the mind of God regarding your situation today, regarding your condition today, regarding your holiness today, so that uh, when God comes to touch you, there will be absolute healing, absolute deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. He staggered not, verse 20, he staggered not at the promise of God, true unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. And being fully persuaded that what he has promised, he was able also to perform. You need to be persuaded today as we're hearing this word of God, that what would, the word will speak to you, it is live. 
the word that will speak to you, it is spirit and it is life. As the Bible says that this faith we're talking about today, the faith for today comes by hearing and by hearing this word of God you are hearing right now. As you receive this word of God, this word of God will build up in you. This word of God will build up in you. It will build up strength, courage, power. And God will start to do things because as you believe in this word of God, you are connecting to the channel or channel of heaven. As you believe in this word of God, you are being hooked up to the channel of heaven. And the channel of God, heaven, that's glory and that's power. The power of God flows in this channel. Then there will be healing. There will be deliverance. There will be healing. There will be deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the power of God is right here to heal you. The power of God is right here to heal you, to deliver you, to make you the person that he wants you to, to be in the name of Jesus. And I start to pray with you today. And I pray that God, the faith of God will come into your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. And if you're here, if you're hearing this word of God, and you're hearing this ministration, and you've not given your life to Jesus Christ, this is an opportunity to give your life to Jesus Christ. Huh? Because giving your life to Jesus Christ, give, give God access to your life to be able to make your life who he wants you to be. To be able to touch your life and make you, a, make you whole and deliver you and shape your future as he wants it to be. Hallelujah. We're going to pray. But that verse, the last verse says, verse 21, I'm being fully persuaded that what he has promised, he was able also to perform. Almighty Father, we just want to thank you this day. We we'll give you glory. Oh, we worship you, O oh God. As we start to speak your word right now, as we start to speak things that we're not as sick they were, and I pray right now that that person that is sicker, Hey, at that person that is sick, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, start to heal. Let the healing of God move in Jesus' name. I pray for that particular person that is on his bed and is sick. Oh, I pray that the healing of God will come upon his life in Jesus' name. Uh, Father, I pray for that individual that is crying for help from on high. Let the help of God come upon his life right now in Jesus' name. Uh, as we start to speak regarding their life, uh, as we start to speak healing, the live rise unto their life, let it be so in Jesus' name. Uh, Almighty God, this day we pray as many people, oh God, who are crying for a new life, uh, who are crying for a new day, who are crying for a new opportunity, who are crying for a, a, a new chance, who are crying for a second chance, the God of second chance, God of promise, God of all hope, oh, we pray right now that you come and touch this particular individual in Jesus' name, as we speak the grace of God upon his life, as we speak the grace of God upon our life, as we speak the grace of God upon their life, in the name of Jesus, that the grace of God may move, that they may become a new creature, and the glory the glory of God will rest upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. As we believe your word and will speak those things that were not as if they were in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. We we'll give you glory in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that. Amen. Once again, thank you for this opportunity uh, to come your way. I will trust God that God has used this opportunity to bless you. And uh, um, if you want to send us um, a, um, a, uh, questions or you want us to pray with you or you want to get a, a copy of this ministration or you want us to come minister in your, uh, in your, in your church, uh, send us an email, info at worldembassy.org. I'll pray that Roch, God richly bless you. Until I come your way again, by the way of this uh, um, ministration and channel, I say God richly bless you in Jesus' name.